Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. How easily we forget where we come from, Lord. Or maybe it is the whom we choose not to remember. We are people whose story of faith stretches back to Father Abram and Mother Sarai. We are often too embarrassed even to mention Mother Hagar. But we easily omit from our recollections that these ancestors were sojourners, migrants without a legal right or claim, wandering with only a slender word of promise to lead them from the familiar into the foreign. We have a hard time admitting to ourselves that you never hesitated for an instant to center all of salvation history around a family like theirs, for all of its impossibility and dysfunction, and that we come as people of faith from their unlikely lineage. We would rather imagine ourselves the noble heirs of a respectable family line than to remember Abram's failings or Sarai's cruelty, or Hagar's vulnerability. We are afraid to face their humble origins, because we know it will mean admitting our own failures and cruelties and vulnerable places. And yet, you have never blushed to call us your own. You have taken us as we are, by the hand as you did with Abram and family, gathering us all as refugees of faith into something new and good, only receivable as a gift, never something to be bought. So let us trust in you again today and train our feet to follow where you lead, wherever that may be. We ask it in the name of Jesus, both your son and fellow child refugee in Abram's line, who is not ashamed to be called our brother.